Hi, Lucas. Hey, do you know what time it is? Um, it's almost lunchtime. Lunchtime? What, what time is lunchtime? It's 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Hey, on today's show, we are going to be learning about the clock and telling time to the nearest hour. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to the show. Today we're going to be talking about how to tell time on a clock to the nearest hour. On a clock, there are... How many hours are on a clock? Um, 12. So on a clock, there is 12 hours on a clock. And you can you guess how many minutes are in an hour? Um, now? There are 60 minutes in an hour. So for instance, here's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. On a clock, there are two hands. There is the hour hand, that is the short hand right here, Lucas, and the long hand right here is the minute hand. And I like to say that the long hand is the man hand, and the short one is the lady hand. So um, my mom always taught me that when I go into by a door that I always hold the door open for a lady because a lady needs to go first. So when we read a clock, we always look at the lady hand first. We always say what this one is first because ladies come first. So for instance, right now, um, the minute hand is all the way to the top. And so we're just going to learn about telling time to the nearest hour today. So can you tell me which number is the lady hand, the hour hand, pointing to? Um, the one. The one. That is correct. And the five. Well, that's, that's nice that you noticed the five right here. And these are actually minutes. And there are 60 minutes in an hour. Hello, kitty. Our kitty loves to learn our math lessons all the time and wants to learn math with us. So right now, Lucas, it is one o'clock. Can you tell me what time it is now? Mm, two o'clock. Two o'clock. Can you tell me what time it is now? Um, three o'clock. Three o'clock. Now let's put the minute hand all at the minute hand, or the man hand always has to be at the very top there. What time is it now? Four o'clock. Four o'clock. What time is it now? Um, five o'clock. Five o'clock. What time is it now? Now this is Six a o'clock. This is a tricky one because you're like, okay, this hand is pointing this way and this hand is pointing this way. But remember, always take a look at the lady hand first, the short hand first. That's the hour hand right here. And that's six o'clock. Very good. And we have seven o'clock. Okay, you're doing good. Eight o'clock. Very good. Nine o'clock. Very good. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Eleven o'clock. Eleven o'clock. Um, twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock. That's when we are going to be eating lunch. Now, there are twelve hours on this clock, but there are also twenty-four hours in a day. And we're going to be talking about that more on another show. So I'm going to give you a challenge here, okay, Lucas? Mm -hmm. I am going to be writing down a number here. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay? You're going to be seeing me. You're going to like... This is how you write two o'clock. With a two... And... Two little dots right here. A zero and a zero. Can you make it two o'clock right here on this on this one for me. Can you move the dial there for me? Go the other way. Keep it going. Okay, is he right here? Let's check. All right, which one are you supposed to always read first? Nope, the lady hand, remember? So where's the lady hand supposed to be pointing to? The two. The two. So that's okay. We always learn best from mistakes. I gotta fix it up. Let me fix it up. That's better. Okay. Now read the lady hand or the hour hand first. Which number is it on? Two. The two. It is two o'clock. Just 
what it says right here. Now I'm going to do another exercise for Lucas. And he has to write down the time. Okay. Okay. Can you write down the time uh -huh. for me? All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Zero. Oh, ah! I forgot. Yep, two dots. I forgot. Put, put another dot right there. All right, and then two zeros. Let me, let me figure this out. All right, am I giving you the answer? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll do another one so you can, so I won't give you the answer on the next one. That's awesome, four o'clock. All right, let's go ahead and erase that. We're gonna do another exercise. And a lot of your workbooks that you might have at home, this is the type of exercise that you're gonna be doing. Is you're now I'm gonna give you a clue. <laughs> you're given the time and you're supposed to write down what time it is on the paper. So don't look right now. I'm gonna make this a difficult one, okay? All right, let's make this a really hard one for, for Lucas. Okay, Lucas. I'm not going to give you any hints. Can you write down what time it is right here? Oh, I can do it. Okay. Our friends at home can see that, okay? Okay. Awesome. It is, what time is it? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. This is a great exercise to do at home and we're learning how to tell time to the nearest hour. Once again, I'm going to review. This is the seven. <laughs> this is the hour hand. This is the minute hand. I like to say that this is the lady hand because ladies always go first. And so we want to always say the lady hand first. And when we're doing it to the nearest hour, we always want to make sure that the minute hand or the man hand is pointing straight up to the 12. And this is how you tell time to the nearest hour. Lucas, yeah. it's getting close to lunchtime. Are you getting hungry? Yeah. I am too. It's lunchtime. Hey, I hope you enjoyed our show. Make sure you check out our other videos. We're going to be talking a lot more about how to read the clock. And we have a lot of other cool math videos and drawing videos on here. And like always, have a fun day.